Hi guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to Blushing Pink Stitches. Uh, today is a bit of a different video, so I'm doing a another floss tube extra where I'm going to do a kit parade. Um, there are quite a few of you who requested that I do that when I suggested it um, a couple of videos ago. So I thought I'd sit down today, um, it's a couple of days before we're going on holiday and I thought I'd film it so that you guys have got something to watch um, while I'm away as well. And um, so I pulled out all of the things, all of the project bags that have got kits in them. So things that I've kitted up. Um, and then I pulled out my um, box of um, kits. So yeah, things like dimensions kits and, and things like that. Um, so I have a pile here. You can probably see the project bags of things I've kitted. And I have this uh, magazine file of kits so um i think we will go through the bags first and um, before we do that i just wanted to say i have reached a thousand subscribers on my channel which is totally overwhelming i just want to say thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed and who supported my channel and who continues to watch um i really appreciate it um, I love sharing with you guys um, and I hope that you have continued to enjoy the content that I put up on my channel. Um, I am thinking of doing a giveaway, I'm still kind of trying to work out the details of it and um, so I'll probably talk about that in my next video. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that basically. So let's get on with it Um leave my glasses out of the way. Um, so I'm just going to grab bags and go through. So this is the first one. Um, this has got a couple of patterns in it, actually. This is um, January and February Cottage of the Month by Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, I actually won this one in a giveaway from um, Vicky at the Virginia Stitcher and then I decided I wanted to get the set. So it's got February in it as well. I have got March and April in my patterns but I've not kissed them up yet so um I have got a couple of pieces of 28 count lamb's wool pull this out of the bag sorry for the crinkling and um, this is what the pattern calls for so I just went with uh what it called for I will put it back because otherwise you know I want it to be neat in the bag and then I've got all of the floss for February and January in here so some of it is um classic colour works I think classic colour works and weeks dye works and um, and then some DMC so everything that I've got kitted up um I kitted up before I decided to have a master set of DMC so what my plan is is to get to these projects um, bobinate the DMC, do the project and then put them in my master set. And I am going to end up with a lot of duplicates, but um, yeah, I'll just deal with the duplicates as they come. So that's the first kit. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do in terms of starting that one. That's just the other conversation that I kind of want to have with my with projects that I've kitted, you know, give you some sort of indication about when I'm going to start it. Um, the sort of more organised part of my brain thinks that I should collect all of these patterns and then stitch them all together. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. So I don't know about that one yet. Uh, we'll see. I can pile them up down here. Um, this is um, a kit that I bought at the knitting and stitching show. Um, that we have here in the UK a few years ago now, I think I went in 2019, um, and West End Embroidery were there, which is a UK um, company, they have their own website, um, and this is a pattern by them called um, Syrah, um, and this isn't cross-stitch, this is embroidery, um, so this is quite intimidating for me. Um, but it, it's small, so I think it might be something that is achievable if I put my mind to it. 
Um, I just really liked the colours. They have lots of different ones on display at the show. And I really like the colours of this one. So like I said, this came as a kit. It came with a piece of um, 18 count sage green canvas. So this is what this looks like. Um, so stitch it on and it came with the thread pack. So it had everything that you needed in it to get started. So there's a DMC in there. What else is in here? Just say it on here. There's some DMC Perle. I'm not quite sure how you say that. There's a Threadworks. There's a Neon Rays um, ribbon thread. And there's a Chronic number four in there. So, um, yeah, the Threadworks is really pretty. Um, I have looked at their threads before for um, kitting up another pattern. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit intimidated by starting that one. But I think, like I said, because it's small, I might be able to get my head around it. Um, so let's put that back in there properly. That's that one. Um, this one. Okay. This is another seasonal pattern, which I would like to collect all of them. This is called Spring Door. And it's by Anna Petrunova, I think. Does it say it in? Anna Petrunova. She's a Russian designer and you can buy this pattern on the My Bobbin website, um, along with the other ones that she designed. And like I said, that there are um, all four in the series up there. So just a series of uh, doors, um, of seasonal doors. And I really liked the idea of that. Um, so some of these kits you're going to say aren't very adventurous in terms of fabric choices um, and thread choices um because i'm still kind of getting to grips with you know making choices outside of the called for but yeah so this is just a piece of 28 count white lugana and um, that i've got to stitch it with um, and these are all of the dmc threads so you can see when I'm when I was kitting up before, I was pulling from stash. So that's the bobbins that you can see. And then any that I didn't have in my boxes, I would buy and put them in. So I do have lots of duplicates of stuff. Not lots of them, that's not quite true, but I have some duplicates. So there's that one. I have a cup of tea. Cheers. Um, okay, so these are um, snowflake decorations by Creative Cross Stitch. This is um, a shop on Etsy, um, and I really liked the simplicity of those. They're, they've obviously been finished in hoops here, but I think I will finish them slightly differently for the tree. I do want to put them on the tree. So I have a couple of, um, have a bit of, I'm hoping it's going to fit on here, um, an off cut of, um, I think this is 16, no, this is 18 count white opalescent or sparkly um, Ada that I used for um, when I stitched Pretty Little New York. So I, I, I must have measured this, um, you know, you might get one one on each bit of them. Um, it does suggest doing it on 14 count, and on 14 count, um, three, it says it's 3.6 inches, or 51 stitches across. Yeah, so, I think that should be fine. And then, it doesn't actually use that much DMC. Um, so we've got, four normal DMC colours and then there is a metallic so this is a silver metallic um so that's quite a good that was quite an easy one to get up um, what I will do is I will leave a link to all of these patterns in the description box below and um, so you can go and check them out for yourself 
Um, this is another pattern that I bought at the knitting and stitching show. Um, this is from a company called Tom and Lily Creations, which I don't think I've heard, well, I haven't heard anybody else on Flosstube talk about. Um, they're a French company, um, as far as I can tell. Um, and this is um, Gingerbread Men Trio. Um, they had lots of patterns on the stall when I went. So you can see Tom and Lily Creations. Um, and I quite like that one. Doesn't use that many colours again. Um, and what how I got picked out for this. This is a piece of 32 count um, linen, I think in cream. It looks off-white to me, but maybe it is white. Maybe it is white. And um, that's a much bigger piece than I'll need. And then this is all that they're called for DMC. Um, there was one point when I was putting my DMCs on rings, which I'm not doing anymore, but um, yeah, that's that one. Um, okay, let's do this one. This is um, Snow Sampler by Country Cottage Needlewares. This is another pattern that Vicky sent me from the Virginia Stitcher. Um, she finished this quite a while ago now um, and then passed it on to me. It's really sweet. I like this little snowman here and the little wintry scenes. Um, so I have got a piece of 32 count star sapphire linen from um, Herman or Wish Out. This is what this looks like. This is really pretty. I don't know if this is, is this the called for? No, it says a raw silver linen, but um, I went for something green. So there you go, I've made a choice outside of the called for. Um, it's looking a bit washed out on camera. If I bring it back here, it's a bit more like the colour. It's a really nice, soft green colour. I think the uh, white will show up really well on that. Um, we'll see. This uses mostly DMC. One, um, one Gentle Aunt Sarkler. Uh, so it uses baby spinach. Um, and then the rest of the EMC. So, um, yeah, you need two whites for that, that one. It's a nice wintry person. I haven't really been saying when I'm going to start these. If it occurs to me, I'll tell you. Um, otherwise, I don't really have many plans at the moment. Um, oh, okay, this is the one that I love. Um... Okay, this is Defarben de, de, de Wassers uh, by Historic Stickmaster. I mean, I've just completely butchered that. Hmm? This is what this looks like. Um, I'm sure you've seen this before. Um, Brenda from How Like Maniac is stitching this. Um, there's a lady I, finish, I follow on Instagram that is stitching this as well, and it looks amazing. This basically translates to the colours of water. And there are other ones that they have on their website. Um, like there's one that's called The Colours of the Desert, I think, and a few other ones. And they've got a really lovely Christmas pattern as well with some reindeer on it. But I just loved the um, blocks of colour and the motifs that kind of swirl through them. It's just so pretty. Um, so I have got for this... Um, what is this? This is why I leave it in the, in the thing. Uh, this is 35 count white linen from Zweigart. So it's just so this is just a piece of white linen. Um, yeah, I'll do this over two. And then this calls for um silks, which I've not stitched with before, but I did buy. Um, I bought them out of some Christmas money at the beginning of this year. So these are Soire, Soire de, um, how do you say this? Vera Soire, Vera Soire, Soire d'Alger, I think. 
that's how you say that. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that one scheme will be enough um, for each. So these are the colours. Most of these I got from um, Foibles, 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 which is a um, UK um, find my words, a UK cross stitch shop online. Um, and then there are a couple that I couldn't get, so I I can't remember where I ordered these extra ones from. It's another UK based website, or maybe it was one two three. They came in a one two three stitch order. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing that. This is one that I do want to start sooner rather than later. Um. Yeah, I don't want to have too many big patterns on the go, which is probably why I haven't started it. Um, but I do, I do tend to like big patterns. I like stitching smaller stuff, but I have more big patterns that I buy and that I kit up. Just like the bigger stuff. God knows where I'm going to put them in the house, but whatever. Um, okay, this is a pattern that I bought pretty much as soon as I got back into cross stitching and I don't remember whether I saw it on somebody's floss tube or whether I must have done that must have been but I don't remember whose floss tube it was this is Silver Creek Sampler's My Christmas List and I think I ordered this from must have been from Patchwork Rabbit Um, I really love the words in there Um, yeah I do tend to like the silver creek patterns um so um it took me ages to find a good piece of fabric for this because first of all it's a, it calls for silk weaver 32 count coco lugana well I, you can't really get silk weaver too easily in the uk so i thought i'm i'm not quite a fan of white so i'm just gonna get white but then i started stitching on the white um, and I started in the middle with this dove and realised it's not going to show up on there. And then I think I bought a piece of cream or antique white, or maybe it was grey. It was something like that. And again, it was far too light. So I thought I'd go with, this is um, Zweiger Light Taupe 32 Count Murano Even Weave. I'm not going to take it out of the packet but like when you lay the white against it so the white is bobbinated in here yeah so that's going to show up really well so yeah um so i went with that and this is all the called for dmc um yeah so I should really, I bought that before Christmas last year. So this should be a priority in terms of starting to stitch it. So I think maybe I'll start this in November um, or on the run up to Christmas. Because I would have had it a year, basically. Um, so there's that one. This is a free pattern that... Um, Michelle from Mama Loves You GB, um, she does this thing where um, every advent period, she, well this, well, this past year, she did a video every single day in December up until Christmas, where she opened her advent calendars, one of which was cross stitch, and then she showed you like a previous Christmas finish or like one of her finishes from earlier in the year and she also talked to you about a free pattern that you could download some of which were Christmas orientated and some of which weren't um, and this was at a time where I just started getting back into floss tube or yeah getting back into floss tube and free patterns I didn't know there were free patterns so anyway um how am I going to show you this without showing you the pattern here we go this is um Berries in Bloom by Hands on Design. So I saw this on, I'm pretty sure on her channel, but also um, Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. She stitched this and she has a video on her channel of um, her finishing it off too. So I really liked it. I'm 
pretty sure I saw it on the shower channel. I could be wrong about that now that I think about it. But anyway, um, so I bought a piece of 16 count light blue Ada to stitch this on. It's not quite as bright as the fabric in the photo. That is a piece of 32 count vintage Tiffany by Fabrics by Stephanie. Again, that's a brand of fabric that's really hard to get in the UK. So we thought it was just a nice light blue. And it uses all DMC. So these are the DMCs in here. So again, this is a nice quick pattern. It does have as well some long stitches in it. Um, so rather than back stitch, but of course it's very similar to back stitch. Anyway, so that is that one. I'll leave a, obviously leave a link to where you can download that pattern. Um, there. Right, this one, you guys can maybe tell me. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll ask a question about this one anyway. This is a kit that I have. This came as a kit. It, the reason it's in a project bag is because basically I started it um, years ago. I have no idea where I got this from, but it's it was a whip. And then I decided when I picked my cross stitch back up again, I had a couple of things that I'd started that I wasn't happy with. So I sort of threw away. This had been started, but I really liked this. So I didn't want to waste the pattern. Um, and the materials so basically spent a little bit of time unpicking what I'd done and I hadn't done much of it and then put it back in a project bag in my cupboard so this is what this is got it's by a company called Gong Ting Cross Stitch I have literally no idea where I got this from I wouldn't have been buying things online I don't think when I bought this. I mean, we're probably talking more than 10 years ago. No, it is. It has to be more than 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago. I think I may have bought this in some sort of shop. But I have no idea. I know when I originally bought it, I had it in mind to stitch this for my mum because she really likes fairies. Um, but obviously I never ended up doing that. But now that I look at this, I'm thinking that this is like a rip-off kit. So but just because when you look up the company on Google, nothing comes up. So clearly they've gone out of business, but it's not like people are clamouring to get them. Um. Yeah, everything is in, I don't know, whatever language it's in, I don't know. And then it comes with Ada, it's 14 count black Ada. It's a bit wrinkled where I've sort of had it, used it before. And then these are the threads. And again, I've put ones back on here that I've unpicked just in case, you know, so that I could reuse them just in case I run out because they don't tell you or does it tell you on the pattern the DMC numbers oh no it does tell you the DMC numbers if I run out get some more but anyway but I would really like to know is this a ripoff of like another pattern or were these people a genuine cross stitch company and they just got went out of business and if it is a ripoff What's the original pattern? I'd really like to know that. Um, because, yeah, I just have this really funny feeling that it is probably a rip-off. So anyway, I've kept it. I bought it um, in good faith, you know. I haven't had a clue about these things previously. I'll keep it in a project bag. No intentions of starting it right now. I'll do it eventually. Okay, this one. Hold on, sip of tea. This is a pattern that I kitted up from Emma Conlon's book, Cross Stitch for the Earth. Uh, am I going to know the one that I've kitted up now? Oh, yeah. So I kitted up. Never underestimate the difference you make. I really love that. Love the saying, love the simplicity of the pattern, the trees and the flowers and the butterflies. This bee is gorgeous. 
Um, so this calls for DMC. Not that many colours, actually. And I bought a piece of... This is 14 count um, Ada from Zweiger. Um, it's like a rustic Ada. So it calls for oatmeal in the pattern. I couldn't find oatmeal, so I went for Rustico, which is similar. I think it will look nice on that. I think that oatmeal is slightly lighter, but I think the colours will still really look nice on the Rustico. So yeah, I went for that. Um, I like to, when I buy things like the books, I do like to like mark up which patterns that I'd like to do. And then actually like get them out, put them in a project bag and start kitting them up. Because otherwise I find with stuff like books, they just sit on a shelf and you don't end up doing anything out of them. I've, I've certainly got a lot of knitting and crochet books from where I was sort of more into that before that I bought that I didn't do. I maybe did one pattern out of a book like I didn't use the utilise them as much as I could have done. So I really wanted to make the effort to do that with my cross stitch. So there's that one. Okay, this one. Ah, okay. You've seen this quite a bit. So this is um, Festive Birds or Christmas Birds by Al Forest Embroidery. And this is just basically the kit that I put back in my... This is a pattern that I started in January for those of you that are new to my channel. So I'll show you how much I did. Then I realised that I had gone majorly wrong somewhere. Um, and this wasn't lining up with that. You can see how wrong we are. And there are quite a few mistakes in here. So I will do something with that. People have made some great suggestions about what I could do with what I have stitched. But I bought a new piece of, I think this is summer khaki, a 32 count. Yeah, 32 count summer khaki by Zweigart. And I'm just gonna start again. And it's all DMC. Not sure when I'm going to start that again. Maybe that'll be a next year thing. We'll see. Okay, this one. We're getting towards the bottom of the um, pile of kitted up. Um, I like doing magazine patterns. Again, I think there's a lot of patterns that I've um, bookmarked on my digital copies of magazines. Um, or on uh, magazines that I get from my local library. Again, they're digital versions of them. And um, I think I should make the effort to kit some of these patterns up so I actually get around to doing them. So this is um, Shine On by Emma Congdon. This was in um, Cross Stitcher magazine um, in March 2021. And this is on here as a series of um, like covered buttons. You can buy this um, pattern on her Etsy shop, Stitchravia. Um, and what I want to do, and on the Stitchravia pattern on Etsy, they're in a circle. And this is what I want to do. Um, and I'm going to stitch this for my husband for Christmas. So this is one that I'm going to start relatively soon. And I've got a piece of 14 count black Ada uh, that I'm going to stitch it on. And then I have all of the called for threads. So just lots of purples and greys and whites in there. That's going to be a nice, easy pattern to do. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Okay, what have we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, okay, seven. Um, okay. This is Not All Who Wonder Are Lost. Can I remember who? This is from an Etsy shop. Is it going to tell me? Oh, it's by 2x2 two two Stitch Art. Um, Kelly from Kel Stitches is stitching this at the moment. Um, and there are a few other patterns that like, are in this kind of set that are really nice as well. This is a quote from Lord of the Rings. Um, so I really like this. Um, this is a piece of 16 count white Ada. 
can like these are really like simple choices of fabric and i think i will get more adventurous with my fabric choices um but you know this year i've been a relative newbie is the wrong word because i'm not a new cross stitcher but i've been more like on the this is what the pattern calls for so this is what i'm going to do um but I think I will get more confident as the months go by about what to do when I don't have a little bag in here for my DMC. This just uses five colours of DMC. Um, so yeah, that's a really nice one to start at some point. What I might do um, is when I think about my plans for 2023, I might kind of sit down and say, right, this pattern is what I'm going to start this month and so on. We'll see how that goes. Oh, okay. So this is Raven by Nora Corbett. Um, my friend Megan sent me this pattern. I've never done Nora Corbett before. Um, and this is really pretty. Um, so this is going to get started um, probably in September. Um, I don't know whether I'll get it stitched for Halloween, but I do want to have it started. And this uses, I, I just bought the cord for again. I know people do like Nora Corbett's and Mirabilia's Mirabili on really lovely hand dyed fabric. But again, like I just need to get my confidence with that and it'll come. Um, this is a piece of milk chocolate, 20, is it 28 count? Mm, it's 32 count what does it say what does it call for 32 count so this is 32 count um, milk chocolate linen from Perminal Wishout uh, which is what the model is stitched on and then it has all of the DMC in here lots of yellow and purples really really pretty and then in here I have the beads that you need and this is a good pattern for beading because it doesn't have that many beads um this isn't my first time of beading I have beaded before but not on a big project like this so I'm really looking forward to starting that um that'll be a good adventure so yeah I think this is going to be a September start for me um okay there's that one. This one. This is the Heartfelt Stitch Along by Fat Quarter Shop. So I'll show you. Um, this was a free pattern on their um, website. You can get, I think there's six parts to this. All six parts have been released now. And it was a charity stitch along for um, the Make-A-Wish Foundation in Texas, I think. So um, they encouraged you to make a donation um, when you downloaded the pattern, which I did. Um, so yeah, heartfelt stitch along. So it finished, I think, last month. Um, this is stitched in um, Ori floss, which um, I was finding it really difficult to get in the UK. So I just did the DMC conversion and it, the, it calls for a piece of um, pale grey gingham Ada by Fabric Flare, uh, which I couldn't get. So um, this is the DMC and this is a piece of 14 count white. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's that one. That'd be a really lovely stitch. And I really like the colors in that one. Um, okay, this one is Spring Quaker by Lila Studio. This was a Nashville release for them, for her this year. Really, really pretty. Um, and this is another one that I want to start soon and it will be my first time stitching on 40 count. So the model is stitched on a piece of 40 count sand dune by Seraphim. Again, I couldn't really get my hands on that. So this is a piece of 40 count mountain air at Newcastle in Buckskin. It's a fat quarter. 
so that's it's kind of more orangey maybe you'll be able to see it mm, i don't know it's looking a bit more brown yeah anyway so there's that so that'd be my first time stitching on 40 count um, and this uses a mixture of DMC and classic colour works. So these are all of the threads in here. Um, so yeah, I think maybe I'll try to start that in September as well. We'll see how things go. I can see myself finishing some things this summer. Um, you know, I'll have more stitching time because I'm off. Um, yeah, um, so I'm hoping to finish some things so I can start some new things, basically. Um, this is um, Autumn in the Village by Stony Creek. So I'm doing the big um, picture in the middle, the full picture. You can do sort of like individual things like they've got on show here. And the saying underneath is, Autumn is a second spring when every leaf's a flower. Uh, Laurie from Once Upon a Stitch stitched this and I really liked it and I recently bought Summer in the Village. This uses a lot of DMC. So this is the DMC list. So again, like a reason to have a master set and a big bag of DMC and it uses one Karen Water Lily, which is this one. This is in the colour redwood never stitched with that before it feels amazing yeah um and the rest of dmc i think there are some blends in here as well let's just double check oh no oh it also has a Glisten Gloss Rainbow Blending Thread. Where is that? I've got to pull that out now. Oh, it's here. Yeah. Never used anything like that before. What is that for? Mm, don't know. I'm not going to be able to tell, am I? Wondered whether I'll be able to see the symbol quite easily. And I'm not going to be able to. I don't know what that is for. But yeah, I've never used anything like that before. So, um, yeah, look forward to trying that out. Um, and this is a piece of 28 count. Um, I think it's antique or it's off-white or ivory um, even weave. It calls for Jobelin, which I didn't get, um, but you need like a long, thin piece. So this is what, what I've cut off of something else. So yeah, um, I feel like that's another one I should start in September, but yeah, I'm not sure. There's a lot of patterns to start around that time. Um, yeah. Oh. Right, then we've got two more. So this is um, I Love You, I Know. And this is by a shop on Etsy, which I'm not going to be able to tell what it is. No, I will leave a link to it down below. It is a shop on Etsy. It's obviously a Star Wars reference. Um, I'm doing something slightly different with it. You'll be shocked. This is a piece of 14 count Ada in the colour Sunset. Um, and it is one of their painted or like stamped. I don't really know how you would say it. Because it's white on one side. And then coloured on the other um yeah I think that's going to look really pretty and I'm just going to do it in the black like it's called for and I bought a pea um a spool of um sulky 12 weight um to try 
Uh, my question is, a lot of people use Sulky 12A on high accounts, so like um, 18 count, 36 count, 40 count and whatever. If I'm going to use it on 14 count, does that mean I'm going to need two? I'm thinking I'm going to need two strands of this rather than one. I know it's thicker than one strand of DMC. I have been told that. Um, but yeah, if you've used this, what what do you think? My thinking is that one's not going to be enough for 14 counts. I'm going to have to use two strands. But yeah, really appreciate your advice. I This should be enough one spool for the whole pattern. Yeah, but we'll see. Um, what have we done with this? Let's just put this back in here. There we go. So that is that one. Right, and then lastly, for ones that I've fitted up, this is um, Quaker Geometric Puzzle by Ink Circles. It's my first Ink Circles pattern. Um, you can do. There are two colourways that you can do this in. Um, so you can do it in that colourway, or you can do it in this colourway. So. Yeah, this is it's sort of more of a bluey, yellowy tone to this one, whereas the other one is more jewel toned, and I'm I'm going with this one. This is that um, colour palette is much more up my street. So, in order to get the colours to pop on this, I thought just white. So this is a piece of um, thirty-two count white linen and um, I, I believe I cut this off of my Fruits of Plenty so this also might be a bit too big because I bought a massive piece of that just because I needed the length um, so yeah and then this is all of the DMC and you do need um, duplicates of some of them um, so that's all of them now all the pretty colours um, oh yeah look at the pinks and the purples and the golds oh that's gonna look so pretty so yes yeah, so that's another big one god knows when i'll get around to doing that but i really do i think need to make a plan because otherwise i'm gonna i'm gonna continue building up kits and not starting them and i but I would like to have a balance between how many whips I've got on the go and actually starting kits that like, I've kitted up. Yeah, there does need to be a balance between the two. It just means that I've got plenty of stuff to do. So, let's have a quick sip of tea. This is cold now, but I'm gasping. It doesn't matter. And I have got into drinking iced coffee recently so like iced lattes it's a bit, a bit of a weird experience first of all um it's like your palate is sort of telling you you shouldn't be drinking cold coffee but it's actually quite pleasant um so yeah these are all of the kits that i have um so let's start with the little ones um, this is one that i got for my birthday this is a buttons and beads mill hill kit called autumn swing and the glare there you go really likes the little scene pictured on here the in the farming atmosphere the pumpkin the swing it's just really nice and it comes with all of the stuff that you need to stitch it so beads the button all of the threads and the perforated paper and um, joss home has got a series on her channel um where she um shows you her process for stitching a mill hill kit from start to finish and i've been watching those and they're really interesting so um i will leave a link to her channel down below um this is a kit i bought off of a dish dash um group on facebook um i love dish dash groups um can be a bit dangerous sometimes um but they're good for getting a bargain um especially if something that you've been looking for um, but um, I've been a, I've been I went through a bit of a phase, and I'm still in the phase of buying Dimensions kits. Um, so somebody was selling um, Be a Light. Um, so these are the Mason jars. 
um, and this comes with all of the threads and a piece of 14 count navy ada um, so yeah somebody has obviously taken this out and sort of played around with it but everything's there that you need um, so that's another one that I've got to do. Then I've got a couple of gold collection petites. Um, this is Scenic Lighthouse by Dimensions. Um, so does it say on here who? Designed by Red Farm Studio. So this is one of the lighthouses. There are a few that Dimensions have um, released. Um, this has got white Ada in it, 14, uh, 18 count white Ada, and then all of the threads that you need. You can't see it here because I've covered it up with a pattern. Um, but yeah, nice um, sort of summery scene. It's not high on my agenda to do right now, but I will do it eventually. Um, and the other petite collection that I've got is Chickadees in Spring which continues my obsession with bird patterns. Um, and the colour palette in here is just so lovely. Um, this has a piece of, you can't see it again, um, 16 count dove grey Ada, and then all of the threads that you need, which again, you can't really see because I've covered it up with a pattern. This is a bit higher on my list. So uh, might be one that I start when I finish my other dimensions kit. And then, and then the rest are full, like, A4 kit things. Um, so this is another one that I got for my birthday. This is Hello Pumpkin by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Uh, my mum bought me this kit for my birthday. Um, this comes with all of the Call cool 4 threads and a piece of... I think I got a 14 count white Ada, because that's what I was, I'm stitching summer on. So I would like to collect all of these, whether they be the patterns or the kits, so that I've got all I've got the autumn tree and I've got the, and I'm working on the summer tree. I think it won't be until I finish the summer tree that I start another one. Um, this is um, Birds Waders by um, Boffy Threads and De Wentwater Designs. Haley from the Stitching Cabin and stitch this and showed it on her first floss tube video and it was lovely this is not a pattern that i would have picked up of otherwise but when she showed it it was beautiful um so there's um a piece of um 14 count cream ada in here um, and then the threads and you can see that there are some metallic threads in here as well some of the shading in the water really really pretty so that's my first boffy threads kit um, this is a kit that I bought myself out of some birthday money. They're stuck. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. Hold on. Um, I have to put that at the back, aren't I? Oh, anyway. Um, this is my first sort of like big dimensions kit um, from the gold collection. This is called Cherry Blossom Creek. Um, and the artwork is by... Sung Kim. Look at the colours in that. It is a bit bit reflective. You see that? Yeah, that's a bit better. I love the colours. It's obviously full coverage. Um, so this is going to be a much uh, more um challenging one for me to do uh, but it comes with all of the threads and um a piece of blue ada so this is does it say on here 16 count light blue ada so yeah i've got that to do at some point um the one i got for my birthday again from megan megan sent me this and um, this is blue jay and grapes by magic needle Again, birds, I love the bees, you know, these, this ribbony thing, the nature scene, lovely. Um, this comes with all of the threads and a piece of cream, I think, Ada. 
or is it white? It's white or cream. 14 count either. So yeah, and another one. Um, this is a kit that I bought quite recently. This is hedgehogs in lingonberries. <laughs> Look at how cute they are. They're so cute. This is a Riolis kit. Um, yeah. Can't remember who I saw stitching this, but I just loved it. This comes with all the threads and a piece of white Ada. Does it say what count it is? 14 count. Yeah, so everything you need in there. And then we've got two more. Yeah. So the other one that Megan bought me for my birthday is Spring Song. This is another magic needle kit. Look at those birds, the colours. I love the little eggs in the trees, the colours of the flowers. It's just so pretty. Um, and this comes with mm, 14 count Ada. It looks like a light blue colour, which would make sense for the background of the picture. Yeah, there we go. And last but certainly not least, this is um, Secura Bridge by Riolis. I just, yeah, anything oriental, anything with that kind of colour palette to it, the blues and the, the pinks, stunning. It's just got quite a few French knots to it. Um, yeah, quite a few French knots. They, that would not be something that you'd attempt to do all in one evening. Um, but it's beautiful. I want it. There are um a couple of others in the set, so you can see here. There's this one. Um, and then there's um this one. To go with it, I want to collect these as well. Wouldn't it? These look stunning. Like lines up, so you could have them one after the other. Um, stitched up and then framed on a wall that would be amazing so yeah there you go 52 minutes in and um, those are all of the kits that I have Ooh. Um, I didn't count them uh, maybe you can tell me in the comments down below how many that was um, and have you got any suggestions for you know when to start things um, I'm up for doing starter alongs or stitch alongs as well. So if you've got any of these patterns um, um, or you want to buy the patterns soon and you'd like to stitch them along with me, um, yeah, um, you send me a message on Instagram, email me, you know, leave a comment down below. Um, we'll have a chat about it. That'd be great. Um, yeah, and like I said, if you've got any suggestions about when I should start some of these things um, or, you know, how to balance out having whips and new starts, that would be great. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's everything that I've got for this video. Um, I hope you guys are having a good couple of weeks and getting in lots of stitchy time. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.